because he had a contract with them. We did that before we went to school. And all of us graduated from high school. Just to briefly wrap it up. My older brother Marvin, Tuskegee University, veterinary medicine, retired back on the home place. My sister Willa, Fort Valley State University, FAMU University, now she's department manager, Department of Revenue down in the state of Florida. My second brother Henry, the overachiever as we call them, Savannah State University undergrad, University of Tennessee, electrical engineering degree, further studies at Georgia Tech, masters, fell off the State University. He's electrical engineer supervisor for the Southern Quadrant of the state of Georgia, working for Georgia Power. Ooh. My second sister, Vivian, undergraduate degree in nursing, master's in nursing from Medical College of All right, we're live right now. We just finished up the memorial service. I'm here with the Honorable Mayor um, Judy Johnson, and I want to thank you for, on behalf of the Haitian Alliances, every Haitians in, in Atlanta, you did an awesome job. You are always behind us. I just want to let, uh, oh, 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 for those that are not here tonight, um, I want you to just kind of give us a recap and how, what was your experience here tonight here for this memorial service? The memorial service is always a wonderful service to remember those not only that who have lost ones have passed away, but those in Haiti who are still trying to rebuild, who survived. And I began tonight by uh, reading from the scripture in 2 Timothy 4, 8, talk about righteousness and that even though we are down, we will win in the end because we have Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and he is the hope for Haiti. And so it is my prayer for Haiti that as you rebuild, as you pray for those that are still in your country, even though you may be in the United States, that there is hope and Haiti will win. And I also want to say that I'm a member of First Baptist Church of Lawrenceville, and we had a group that went to Haiti this past summer and worked in an orphanage, and we are planning to go back this spring. And so we are with you in spirit, and we are trying to help you in the, the small ways that we can. Awesome. Once again, we are live again with a Gabalino production. I'm DJ Master from the DJ Master Show. I'm here with a very, very decorated, decorated man here in the Georgia, the state of Georgia. Um, I don't even want to tell the people in there. I, I want you to introduce yourself. Um, the testimony that you gave tonight, it, it touched me somewhere that was, was, it, it reminded me of where we came from and how, and how to stay humble, you know, because um, our country, Haiti, it, it's, it's, we have gone through so much, but. The testimony that you gave us, you reminded us of the strength and, and, and where we can, can go and foresee within the next future and the next couple of years coming to go. You know, because some of us may, may lose faith, some of us may lose sight, but what you said tonight, being that you came from the our house to the White House, you know, you know what it is to be from the bottom and where you are now. So I'm gonna, I, I want you to just give us a recap of, of, of your experience tonight here at the memorial service and what the what does the country of Haiti mean to you? Well the country of Haiti means a lot to me in the sense that they have been a people of struggle but they've also been a people of resilience yes. and I identify with that because my humble beginnings as I shared with you growing up in South Georgia not having indoor plumbing, not having a bathroom on the inside, having to wash clothes in a wash pot and having to live off the land and farm, et cetera, and work with our hands. And having a father that only had a fifth grade education, but he dared to dream that all of his kids could grow up one day and finish high school. So he told us to look deep within and depend on God and apply yourselves each and every day. You will succeed. We had struggles, we had setbacks, we had tragedies um, similar to the ones in Haiti, not earthquakes, but we had tragedies, financial tragedies. We had tragedies such as individuals telling us we weren't going to succeed. But my father and mother believed in all of their kids and they encouraged us to be encouraged and that starts when, from within and when people see that you are encouraged to succeed no matter what happens in your life, others will notice that and they will come to your aid and they will continue to support you. So I am honored to be here tonight to see how the Haitian community remembers that tragic 
earthquake that took place four years ago, they have for not they have uh, uh, not forgotten those that lost their lives, and they're remembering that, and they're continuing to move forward no matter what the obstacles are. Positive. Once again, we are live with Gabrielina in Productions. I'm DJ Massive, and I'm here with uh, our host, Mr. Franz Brutus, and our attorney, Kamei Jackson. Uh, I just wanted to get some your, your, your recap from tonight. Tonight was just, we, we, we laughed, we cried, we prayed, we laughed some more, and then we cried some more. Um, what are, what, what are the, the lasting words that you want to leave the people? And, and for those that, are not, that weren't able to attend uh, our event tonight, the event tonight, that are looking, that are, are in Haiti right now, that may be seeing this. What would you like to tell these people, and how can we can encourage them and let them know that we are still behind them? We're we're still working to have a better tomorrow. We're still working to have a better a better Haiti. Well, what you have seen tonight is the resilience of our people. Um, I mean, we fall down, we get up. We, we face obstacles and we overcome our obstacles. And despite all of that, we are strong. We are strong in our resolve and we stand up and said, you know, we're going to do better than that. We're not going to let obstacles stand in our way. We're going to we build our country. We're going to stand up together and do what is necessary for, for Haiti to move forward. And we are grateful for all the people that came out this, after, this evening to celebrate life. We're celebrating life because if it was in the hand of God that was upon this country, we could have lost more than 300,000. So we, we, we celebrate, we're thanking God that, that has his eyes and hands over Haiti. And today, if I can stand here, my parents, I can stand, and we thank God for that. And that's the purpose of this memorial service, to really celebrate life. And as we remember also our brethren that, that are gone, that lost one, we can never forget our parents, our sisters, our cousins that are gone. That scar is still with us. But we celebrate and we, we're moving forward. We won't let anything hold us back. Um, we are here also with um, Haitian American attorney, Ms. Kamei Jackson. Kamei Jackson, I want to thank you for just to taking the time out and, and um, being receptive to, to something like this. Uh, how do you feel as a Haitian American um, embracing your culture and, and to see something such as the earthquake, the disaster? The uh, catastrophe that we have, that we have had, and, and millions, um, millions of people are affected, but also hundreds of thousands of lives were were lost. How do you feel, as an attorney, as a Haitian American, and um, being here tonight? What does what did this event do for you? Um, I'm very humbled to be here today. I think it's a humbling experience for all of us because we are the survivors, and actually our Everything that we have, all our success, is built on the backs of the people who stayed behind. And um, the, with the earthquake, so many people lost their lives. But um, as people have been saying all night, it also helped bring us together as a people. And as someone who's a first-generation American, I'm humbled, but I can't for forget the sacrifices that my grandmother made when she came here, my mother made when she came here. They sacrificed so I could be where I am today. And I don't think any of us can take it for granted. Any of us who are here in the United States, we, we can never forget the people who are back home in Haiti, struggling every day. Um, and Haiti is going through so much right now, still. And it's four years later, and there's still a lot going on. But we have to, as Haitians here, have to give back. Because if we don't, if we forget where we, how are we going to know where we're going as a people if we forget where we came from? So we have to reach back and help those who are still there, especially now, after the wake of the, the, um, the earthquake. It was already a country that needed help before, but more so now. So I think as a Haitian American, what I'm left with is never forget what brought me here. Once again, we live at AC. I'm, I'm the Haitian Prince, DJ Massive. Um, we live right now on Gabrielle Productions. I'm here with one of the most decorated men here in Atlanta, uh, Mr. Mark Jean-Pierre, a.k.a. Brother Charlie. Um, Brother Charlie, we're here right now at the memorial service for the earthquake survivors due, due to the, the um, what we had going on um, four years ago in Haiti on the, 10th, uh, on the 12th of January, this day. What does this day mean to you? Uh, I know that you were one of the first responders leaving out of Atlanta to, to rescue a lot of people and went for their aid. What does this day mean to you? Does, you know, does it bring back good memories? Does it bring back heroic memories? Does it bring back a memory that saddens you? How do you feel right now? And what do you want to tell the people of Haiti? Well, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to say it's really hard to describe, you know, how you feel about this day. Because I remember I was working that day 
and my supervisor come in and uh, tap me on the back and say, I need you to come to the office. So at first I thought I was losing my job, but really that's when the earthquake happened and so forth. But as far as you know, what I did uh, for the Haitian community here in Atlanta, basically my unit uh, with the G Georgia State Defense Force, we were the first medical company to actually receive them when they come in on the C-130 here. So therefore, uh, my job was a liaison between all the other agencies. Uh, I'm talking about FEMA, we're talking about the Department of Health and Services, we're talking about immigration, you know, INS. So I was the one making sure every Haitian, before they hit the floor, to make sure they got their I-9 filled out. So therefore, they won't have any issue when they come to the country. And also make sure we provide them with basic medical needs before and most of them were critical patients anyway, so therefore they had to uh, ship them out to different hospitals throughout Atlanta. So I'm glad today that I received this nice, uh, beautiful uh, present here, you know, to thank me for what I've done. But therefore, you know, everything you do for your people, you're not doing it to receive anything. No, no, no. But therefore, it, it warms my heart just to have this today. Well, once again, I thank you for your services, Mr. Mark Jean-Pierre. I, I want to wish you an early happy birthday. I know this is not a time that, you know, we, 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 we can celebrate much, but um, there's a lot of good that came out of this day. We are able to unite with each other as families and keep each other in prayer. And once again, I just want to thank you for your, for your services in the Atlanta community, for the Haitian community, and just for mankind. Outstanding. Thank you. All right, keep hope alive, and then basically Haitian, no corner, no matter how hard it gets, we always survive. Let's go. That's uncut right there. <laughs> Once again, we are live right now, Gabonese Productions. I'm your host, DJ Master, from the DJ Master Show. I'm here with one of the most beautiful Haitian ladies in Atlanta. Um, she is spoken for, for you know, I can't even have, I don't even have to say the camera says it all. But Miss Rose, she's also known as Rose the Queen here in Atlanta. Uh, we are here right now live at the memorial service in Atlanta for the, the, the earthquake survivors and the ones that we lost. What does today mean to you? How do you feel about today? And um. Today we laughed, we cried, and like I said, we laughed again. We also prayed. What is your lasting impressions after leaving tonight here at the earthquake, at the memorial service? Uh, on peut me parler que là? Oui, oui. Oui. Et mais je dis à tes anges très émotion uh, parce que de uh, toucher un peu avec tout tout uh, témoignage, avec tout tout le monde qui t'est parlé, avec tout le monde qui t'est qui t'est participé dans le programme là. Et première fois que je viens dans le programme là. Bon, nous connais Haïti, Haïti sont en mouvement, qu'on est là en jour, nous avons nous campé quand même. Parce que nous, nous pouvons arriver à côté, nous faisons pour nous arriver, mais nous nous sur route. Donc, so, comme ça, moi, 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 je veux dire, je m'apprécie que je devine là, je veux dire, je prends le temps, je suis sur la Floride, je veux là, et puis je suis arrivé là, je veux parce que je voulais participer, je voulais uh, montrer, you know, uh, my, my support to the Haitian community. You know, parce que, you know, I feel more back on them. I'm travel, I'm doing business here, I'm doing business here. But you know, tremblement de terre has affected us all. In general, as Haitians, we all have to continue to camp for to support Haiti for to advance. Both, both emotions, of course, cry definitely. We prayed a lot, feel sad, and rejoice. Rejoice because we're able to rebuild ourselves. We're able to, you know, be positive. We're able to unite with each other because I felt that, that unity for some reason. I felt it not only within the community, the Haitian community, but also within the American organizations and the government, governmental officials also. So, I mean, overall, this was definitely positive and it needs to continue on, on a regular basis, not just every year. Absolutely.